We're in a completely dark room. We're going to give Abigail and Raphael their own space. We're going to make this a double-decker room. One person's going to get one side, the other person's going to get the other, and it's going to be completely separate. And they can keep their side up how they want it, and their side how they want it. He's also changing the electric, that's why it's dark in here. We're going to put these foam inserts in, save on some electric, seal up the house a little bit. He's changing the electric now. We have three plug-ins in here and one light switch. Got something beeping, I don't know. Okay, while Hadar is finishing that, I stapled this wall back on. I decided not to replace the wall, but I'm going to put this pretty wall tile on. It's really pretty. It's kind of got rounded edges. These are Anywhere from 11 to 15 cents a piece at um, uh, Home Depot. And that is what they're called. Dowel tile. So I'm going to put this up. I've already got some waterproofing there, tape. But I'm also going to caulk inside that before I reapply this. So I have to make sure where I want the tile. Um, because there's going to be, it's less than a tile. It's like, uh, I don't know, one-fourth, maybe. So it's less than a half. So I'm going to get some weird pieces. That's sticking really good right now. That's some good stuff. I got a Krill Pro tile adhesive. So I'm going to do this entire wall, do my cuts afterwards. Um, just because I have to measure a lot and make all my cuts at once and I'm going to stack the tile like this subway and I'm only going up see where the kitty gets into her box here well sometimes yeah she has to come down like that and she scratched the wall up pretty good so I'm gonna go halfway up right past that staple just right here on this and then probably go up to there all the way all the way around so this wall and this wall will get a half wall of tile and I'm going to put some tile back there as well okay I've used this sunny so far and basically just went up the wall to there. I gotta cut that one because it's one won't fit. But that's done. I'm going around the wall on the baseboard because I had some gnarly paper come up and this is really thin for a baseboard. We're not gonna have anything on the floor really over here so it should be fine. Hey guys, we don't have light in here right now because the switch is getting replaced. We have to go get a new switch for this because this one won't work. Anyway, I have this really pretty marble tile, some, some type of like high glisten, probably quartz, I don't know. Anyway, I have this and I tiled this wall. Of course, it's bubbled out because it's old paneling and it has no wall behind it. Eventually, I'll go back in there and and put a brace stud in here to push it in and be even, but right now I, I don't really care. I'm gonna eventually tile half of this wall and paint the other half, I believe. But I have, I caulked all of this and then I put the waterproof tape and I do not cut very good edges, I just don't. And I have a lot of gap here. It's very ugly. Plus, I want to waterproof this. This is where this water is leaking out. And it had just about rot the floor right here. Uh, rotted a pretty good section of it right here. And we had to remove this entire board and put a new one. So this is going to get caulked really well. And eventually, all of this will have tile on it. But for right now, because I don't have enough of this wall tile, for right now, I'm going to put this down. And it's going to go like this, 
and then I have this tile and it's in a you know a big big board but I'm cutting just pieces of it so that's what that's gonna look like and that's gonna be very waterproof because it's gonna have mastic and grout and stuff so this right here to seal this up and make it very waterproof I'm gonna take the same thing and put it this way very very waterproof and then put one this way it's got a nail in it right now but I'm gonna put one this way going up to here or here and then on top of the tile it's going to have this right here so it's going to be white tile framed in this very it's very expensive it's like 15 to 20 dollars i can't remember how much i paid per tile but i bought two tiles um and this is what i'm going to use just for trim all over the bathroom and it matches pretty well with the floor because the floor is like a taupe but it's depending on where you look at it it's like taupe or gray it's like grage so grage um so that's what I'm going to do, and then Hadar is going to get all of the electric stuff today and take you with them. All right, I'm gonna leave, and uh, the kids know this, but uh, I leave my monitor open, and it shows them where I'm at. So you have a tracking device? Yeah, a tracking device for you guys to see where I'm at, and we can do Alexa drop-in maybe. We'll see. Wow. Okay. All right, so you guys don't have to worry about where I'm at. Okay. All right, I'll be back later. Bye bye. Bye, bye Daddy. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye, Raphael. Bye bye, Abigail. Your hair is wet. My beard's not wet, it's just black. Your hair is wet. <laughs> Alright, see you guys. Bye bye. Good time on the store. Can you tell it's been raining? Ah, uh, yeah. We're at Lowe's. And Andrea did a pickup order, so everything was ready. And they have a nice pickup locker, and uh, that's like contactless locker. And they give you basically everything already in a bag. It's all ready, good to go. Don't have to touch anything. Don't have to tell nobody. Just uh, you have a code that they send you, and then you just go pick it up. And that's really, really good. That's probably the best I've had here so far for contactless, from all the big stores anyway. So we got all the light switches, outlets, uh, I think she got glue as well. Let's fly. Type Bond 3, ultimate wood glue. And uh, now I have a couple of uh, shopping items we missed, and I think I might try to go and get something else as well. We'll see. Look at him. Just in there. Doesn't even care that I'm here. What? Hello? Hi there. You're supposed to be afraid of me. Well, not like this. Maybe this is not a good parking spot. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I finished putting the side tile on that needed cuts. I think I'm going to have to put some trim on that because I didn't cut very good over there. So I will have to put that trim back right over top of that. I was going to do this entire wall up to here. I decided against it. I think I'm just going to put a wood board across as like a border and then paint the top a gray. Got my new picture in. It's very pretty. And I put this old, um, used to be a fruit basket for me. Made it into a towel rack. Gotta do them a little tighter. That's a little loose. But yeah, so uh, gonna mortar soon. I got that one to glue down and that one over there to glue down. I'm gonna put the caulk underneath of it and then put the glue on the little baby strips right there. And then later tonight when all of this dries, I'm going to mortar it. So I'm just going to take the pieces out. This did help because this was sliding pretty good on here. 
you can get that glue, that glue. This glue is super good. It's $11 for a whole can of it. And even though this wall is not straight, not anything, it's not a good wall. It's like a junky wall. It'll still hold up. It's not going anywhere because that glue is so good. So I'm going to put these new strips under here and here. Is that how I want it? I don't know, something like that. Yeah. That one's not even going to fit. And I got to put some kind of strip of molding up here, and I was thinking to put that here. Um, but I don't know. We got to see. All right, I'm going to use the rest of this caulk put up under here. I gotta get the things out, go up under there. Um, and I think I'm just going to use this tile here. But you see I got the strings on it, so I have to go around with this blade and cut all the strings off on this one side. Just like one, one layer of strings. And then I can put it down where you can't see strings, and it's going to go like this, so I got a vacuum and grout and cut the things off, and then this will be about ready. I got that cut. I'm going to put a false wall here, so that's going to stay clear for a minute, but I'm going to finish this part right now. pretty good. Okay, that's been completed and I'm working in the dark right now because my light gave up, but yeah, tonight it will get the mortar treatment and be really pretty, I think. That would be really pretty, but it's too high up, so you would trip over it, but that could be really pretty. That stands out pretty good, doesn't it? Does it look good, or it stands out in a bad way? I don't know. The door shuts. It would look better if I could do it this way, but it is a little bit too tall and I would trip over it most luckily. So I don't want to do that. That looks pretty cute. I'll probably just end up painting this plywood because the floors are two different heights. Okay, I'm also going to be filling this vinyl peel and stick tile with vinyl grout. Just some of the places where it has uneven floor and it just won't go in. So I'm just going to wipe this off with a baby wipe. You've seen me do this many, many times because I've done this uh, kitchen, hallway, laundry room, and now bathroom with this method. So, And it is a really good idea. To do this because you don't want dirt down in the crack and you don't want any room at all for this floor to separate and having space for it to go it will separate and it will go there 
So anything that has any kind of little crack or gap is gonna get the treatment. All right, and I'm just gonna wipe that off with a baby wipe. Okay, I'm doing the grout. And it is a light gray grout. It's perfect with the floor. So it's gonna take a while. I'm almost done with this. And then I'm going to go over there on that wall and finish that and then be done for tonight. Okay, this is done. And I like how that looks. That's done right there. I got to redo some parts over here and clean it up and then I'll be done with that. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share. Fully living. Well, this time I'm going to go around and put peel and stick on the floor. But before that, I'm going to put waterproof silver tape that has a sticky backing on it. Okay, I pieced together four layers. I didn't get a wide enough board. So 